I'm Miss Taylor and we are at North Wayne Elementary in third grade and we have been learning about energy. We've learned about potential energy being stored energy. We've learned about kinetic energy being energy of motion and we've learned about the different types of energy, electrical energy, heat energy, mechanical energy, sound energy, and light energy. Now I'd like to introduce someone with a lot of potential energy, Mr. Crosland. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, um, oh, he said I have a lot of potential energy, but you know what? I skipped lunch, so I thought I got to get some energy before I come and do this lesson, because today's lesson is energy changes. So I went and I got a battery. I got a battery and I held it in my hand, and guess what? I'm still hungry. So then I went and got a, a flashlight. Check it out. I got a flashlight. I thought, you know, electrical energy. What about light energy? No. Still hungry. I went and got, a, you know, I went and got a, a piece of wood because wood can burn and get hot. I held that piece of wood. No energy. I'm losing my energy. Yeah, I couldn't. Electrical energy wouldn't work. Heat energy didn't work. Mechanical energy worked. Sound, light. But luckily, I found some chemical energy. Ah, save the day. I'll be able to do this lesson if only I can get some, oh, mm, mm, some energy. I'm going to change this chocolate mm, mm, into my belly. And my belly's going, finally, some energy. And I promise you, if I eat this chocolate, I'm going to transfer it into mechanical energy, heat energy, and sound energy. Deal? Just give me a second to change this chocolate into energy. Okay, so I feel like I have a lot more energy now because that chocolate is now inside of me, but my camera's starting to die. Luckily, this flashlight has some battery electrical energy, so I'm going to plug this in right here turn it on, and I'm gonna use this electrical energy to run our phone. Deal? Deal. Okay, so here's what we're done. We're gonna do a couple things in this lesson. I'm gonna try, I hope, to show you that we can change energy. You have a worksheet, okay? We've talked in the past that energy is, if you wanna write this on the, uh, on, on the bottom of your worksheet somewhere, energy, is the ability, ability to do work. Energy is the ability to do work. Okay? Write that on your worksheet, and let's see if we can investigate that, all right? And one type of energy, potential energy, is gravity. For example, if I have an apple, and the apple is on a tree, if that stem comes loose, what's going to happen to that apple? It falls. It falls because gravity is a force that pulls it. So on the count of three, it will fall. One, two, three, three. boom. It Let's try and experiment at your desk. Okay, your pencil's on your desk. No energy. Lift it up, just like the apple. Now you have potential energy on the count of three. We drop it and we say kinetic energy. One, two, two three. three. Kinetic energy. Let's try that again. On the desk, no potential energy. Lift it up. A lot of potential energy. One, two, three. Kinetic, kinetic energy. energy. Yeah, very good. Okay, so you just dropped your pencil. Why don't you make this drawing? What if we have a rock right here? Here's a rock on the ground. Does that rock have any kinetic energy? No. No, it's not moving. Does it have any potential energy? No. No. The rock has potential energy, zero. <laughs> kinetic energy, zero. But what if we took that rock and put it up here on a ladder? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Now, we climbed the ladder and we, put, we gave that rock some energy. Now it has what? A lot of what? Potential energy, right? Plus, plus, plus. 
because it's high up. Here it was low, here it's high. What's gonna happen if I push this rock over? Ah! Now what does it have? Kinetic energy, right? And it still hasn't hit the ground yet, so it has a lot of kinetic energy, and it has a little bit of potential energy until it hits the ground, right? Yes. Go ahead and make that drawing. Okay, so just like the pencil, just like the rock, this apple, no potential energy. I lift it up. Now it has a lot of potential energy, which is going to turn to what? Kinetic, kinetic energy. energy. One, two, three. Kinetic, kinetic energy. So energy can change. Let me set up something with a bowling ball and some cups. Okay, so we've set up, my friend Jacqueline here, we have some cups set up and we have a bowling ball. And you've made a drawing of it. We're going to see if we can make energy a push. You're going to do a push here, right, with your arm. And we're going to send that energy down there to see if we can do some work. If we can move an object and make some sound energy. So, are you ready? Here's a bowling ball. I want you to roll it. Don't hurt the teacher. Or me. <laughs> here we go. So, put it in a seat. You can roll it. Ready? Force, transfer energy. Whoa, near miss. Let's try it again. That was close. That was a practice. Here we go. Did any work get done? No. We didn't have any anything moved, and we didn't hear any sound. All right, try it again. Aim for it. Three, two, one. Energy. Wow, good job. Hey, draw it on your paper. What happens when the energy transfers to the cups? Okay, so we saw what happened with the bowling ball changing energy. We're going to do something else. Energy can change and travel in waves. And so here's what we're going to do. I want you to look at on your worksheet, there's a line like this. And there's a wave, okay? We're going to draw a wave. Check this out. Let's say, okay, Kevin, I brought a spring. I want you to hold it two hands tight. And I'm going to see if I can transfer energy from here to you. You guys watch and see what happens. I'm going to hit it once. Easy. Ready, Kevin? See if you see anything moving. Did you see it? Kevin moved that way a little bit. Back it up, back it up. Are we still in the video? Back up more that way, Kevin. Yeah. How about now? Is Kevin still in? How about me? Ready? Here we go. Try it again. You see it going back and forth? All right, Kevin, this time on the count of three, you hit it soft. One, two, three. Whoa, you see that going back and forth? Mm -hmm. This time, Kevin, I'm going to hit it two times. So what do you think is going to happen, boys and girls? Let's see, ready? Here's two energy pulses. Ready? I know. You see them? I know. Let's try it again. I'm going to do two of them hard. Here we go. Ready? All right. So, Kevin, this time you do two. Here comes, let's see the energy traveling back with two times. Go, go. Oh, did you see them? Yep. Now, this time, Kevin, let's see if. If I and you both hit a soft one at the same time, what's going to happen if we both send energy? What do you think is going to happen? They're going to crash. What? They're going to crash and go back and forth. You think they're going to crash and go back? Let's find out. Kevin, on the count of three, not hard, soft. One, two, three. <laughs> did you see it? Good. You were right. How did you know that? All right, right. Awesome. Let's try it again. On the count of three, at the same time. One, two, three. <laughs> so, energy can travel. Now watch this. Hold it tight, Kevin. I'm going to go slow. This is one slow wave. One slow wave. Okay, i got two more volunteers. This is a slow wave. But look at the wave. This is the parts of a wave. Kevin, you just hold it. I'll do the moving. And the bottom of a wave is called a what, boys and girls? A trough. Trough. And what's the top of the wave called? Okay, now I'm going to go a little bit faster. Move back wave. I mean, move back trough and crest. 
Are you ready, Kevin? Now I'm going to do it faster. How many waves do you guys see? Two. Can you move to where the crest is on one wave? And can you move where the trough is on this wave? Listen. Now I'm going to see if I can do it even faster. Ready? How many waves do you see now? Three. 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 Wait a minute. Four. i got to get it going. Four. 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 How many three. 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 Wow. The faster I go, the more waves. Can you find the trough and the crest? Kevin, you just hold it. I'll do the wave. <laughs> Wow, this is a lot of work. I wish I had another candy bar. Oh, it's a lot easier when it's one big wave. It's faster to make two waves. And I really have to go fast to make three waves. Okay, let's take a closer look. Okay, so in your on your worksheet, let's draw that one wave that went like this, like that, and like that. Draw that wave and let's label. The top of the wave, what do we call it? Crest. Crest. The bottom of the wave, what do we call it? Trough. 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 Okay. And the wave length, the length of the wave is from here to here. From here to here would be the wave length. This is a wave of energy. Let me see what your drawings look like. Okay, so we talked about energy when the bowling ball moved, and we talked about a wave. I have my special wave machine here. Check this out. When I turn this on, I can get it to spin. Kevin, turn the lights out so we can see it better. Can you see that? And so I have different lights, and I can slow down the speed. Watch what happens. I can change the colors. I can speed up the, I can change the different speeds on this. Here we go. I can change the links. That's chaos. <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Do you see any patterns yet? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. go blue, purple, green, red. Blue, purple, green, red. It looks like there's four different strings, different colors. So there's a lot of different patterns we can try on this. Kevin, go ahead and turn the lights back on. So this is my wave machine. It's also my disco wave machine. <laughs> in case you ever have to break out in disco, you never know. Okay, on your desk, you have an apparatus. The apparatus is you have a bolt, which is heavy, and you have a string. So I want you to set yours up like I'm doing. And I want to see what happens. We're going to see if we can make one wave. What, ready? Don't move this part. Watch what I do. I move this back and forth. Do you guys see the wave? Yes. You see the wave? Okay. Now, does Taylor throw me a marker right there? Let's go ahead and throw me that marker. Okay. If I had a line right here on my desk, ready? Watch how this wave goes. I'm going to go slow, back and forth. What do you see? How many waves do you see? One. One. Can you make one wave on yours? Now, watch this. What happens when I go fast? How many waves do you see? Two. Three. three. Two or three. Two or three. Now, I'm not going up and down. I'm doing it on my desk like this. Go ahead and try this at your seat. So, you should have two drawings. Here's your bolt with low energy, and here's your bolt with high energy. High energy and low energy. Let me see you do it. Let me see your drawings. Okay, so we've made some apparatuses, and you know, my theme is disco and gold beads. <laughs> Not really, but this this bead is also we can show we can show waves. One wave, bunch of waves. But what's really cool about these beads, let me show you something else about energy. I'll see if I can get this to work right. There was a scientist by the name of Isaac Newton and he talked about how things move. And if I can put all these in here, let's see what this will end up being like. Okay, I got this loaded up. And so let's see what happens when I drop these 
and let's see how the energy continues. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow, did you see that? It went up. Let's try it again. So I reloaded our energy beads, and you told me these, these beads now have what? Potential energy. Potential energy, and it's going to change to kinetic. So, oh, Isaac Newton and gravity, when I let go of this, watch what happens. Let's see if it goes higher. Look for the effect. Ready? Give me, on the count of three, you guys say kinetic energy. One, two, three. Kinetic energy. Wow, that was cool. Okay, so, I've been saving my Astro Blaster energy balls for a long time. And so here's, we're going to open this. I got a volunteer with me. What's your name? Alex, okay, would you, uh, I want you to drop this. I want you to drop this right here on the table. Ah, wait a minute. Let's give some more potential energy. What can we do to give her more potential energy? Yes. By putting some more. Okay. We could have her maybe stand on the chair. Yes. Okay, come on and stand up on this chair here. Don't fall. Now. This could be dangerous because when you drop this, gravity is going to make it hit the, and this is rubber and it's going to send these balls up into space. Well, let's find out. Let's see if she can transfer energy. So hold it by this part right here. Everybody in the audience, be careful. Uh, more potential uh, energy. I can't get more through. More potential energy. Protect yourself. Okay. Back up. Three, two, one. Kinetic. What happened? That ball went flying. Hand it here. Let's try it again. Did you see that? We lost one of our energy balls. You found it? Let's try that again. Ready? Let's put this one back on there. You want to try two? Oh, yeah. You have to drop it like that now. And drop it that way. Maybe we... Oh, my goodness. More potential energy. Beware. Three, two, one. Kinetic. I think... I think we got... Got somebody. Let's try one more. My leg. This time we'll just do one. Ready? Oh my goodness. And it's probably straight up. Potential energy. One, two, three. Oh. Thanks a lot. All right, we got one more activity we're going to try to do about energy transfer. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have a bowl of water. And I'm going to put some food coloring in our bowl, and that way we might be able to see how energy might move through the water. See, I have my bowl right here. There's no energy. I don't see any evidence of energy. Is anything moving? No. no. I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to take your pencil. Thank you. <laughs> because we always want to use um, third graders are the best. Yeah. Okay. So. Don't touch the table, but I'm going to tap this and let's see if we can see low energy, if we can see anything moving. Ready? Quiet on the set. Here we go. See if you see anything move. I saw something move. Look. Did you see it move? Yeah. It looks like a big eyebrow. But do you see the rings going? Mm hmm. First, I'm going to do it, then you're going to, you're going to do it. And then draw it, away. draw it low energy. Then everybody, only one person taps. Then everybody, you tap too. Ready? Then everybody taps it high energy. Here we go. You see any movement? Wow. Okay. Go back to your seats and let's try it. Low energy and then high energy. Show me one person doing it low energy. Do low energy. Go ahead. Do it. Okay. It's low, energy. low energy. Low energy. Low energy. Okay, now make a drawing. Make a drawing of low energy. Go ahead and make your drawing. All right, after you've made your drawing of low energy, add high energy. More than one person do it. Go ahead. High energy. Go ahead. Try it. Wow. 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 A lot of high energy in here. 
go ahead and draw. Draw what high energy is like. Wow. Okay. I think it's supposed to be okay. here. Everybody... So when I did low energy, a lot, a little bit of circles came out. So that's what I drew here. And when I did high energy, a whole bunch of circles came out. Wow, what a great observation. And then we all did it together. We swirled together and then and made a blue water. The water actually mixed because of the energy? Yes. Very yeah. cool. Because Very that's cool. That's called motion energy. Motion. When you move something with like something on your pencil, that's called motion energy. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank like, you. At first, it was potential energy. And as we go faster and faster, it will turn into Wow. Great, great observation. So this is going to be the end of our lesson. If I could pull this demonstration off, it's going to be so cool. So I have here ancient Chinese science singing bowl. Because I don't know how ancient it is. I bought it about a couple years ago. <laughs> so I have water in it. And this is some brass handles. If you move just a little bit off the side... And I'm going to try to rub these back and forth. You guys move your elbows off the table. And I'm going to see if I can vibrate, my hands wet, and vibrate. I hear something. I hear it. Listen. Sound energy. You can see patterns in the water. Look on the side. You see all the vibration? The water. Because on, on the side, you're making um, the stuff, you're making vibration. You see that, the low ones? Vibrate. Here we go, so let's try some low vibrations. Here we go, ready? Look at that water go. It's actually splat. It's a portal. It's a portal. Is it many ants in there? Just jumping? I don't I think it's from China. Oh, that's cool. oh. Energy transfer. I tell you, let's put a drop of blue water in and try it. Oh. Put one drop of blue water right in the middle and see what happens. Put one drop. One drop. Here we go. Wow, sound vibration. Energy transfers. That has been a lot of fun. But you know what? If you want anything else out of me, I do. I do. I'm running out of potential energy. Uh, Does anybody have any candy bars left? Me? Where are they? <laughs> Otherwise, this battery is going out. Everybody give me some sound energy, please. Thanks. This has been a great class.